coping on a liner pool application like we have here, we sometimes have to grind out some of those imperfections on the surface. Now this liner pool is concrete base, concrete collar with metal wall construction. Now you see some of the bonding cables over on the corner of the pool which lead to the pool equipment. Here you have some junction boxes that run the lights around the pool and you see this copper cable right here that grounds that. And here at the corner of the pool where we have a plastic set of steps that interrupts this metal wall, you see one more bonding cable, so four in total. Now when we were grinding, we were using a generator. We don't want to be dependent on the electric from the house. So we have a heavy cable and we have our own generator. We're also using dustless technology for grinding. There's plenty of dust on this site. We don't need to add any cementitious material to that. Now our coping is going to be the Bullnose Grande product. It is approximately 2 and 3 eighths inches thick. It's 14 inches deep and approximately 2 and a half linear feet long. It comes 29.5 linear foot per pallet. We have approximately 100 linear feet around this pool. So we want to stage all the pallets around. This is our beige cream color. We want to open all those pallets, pull from both sides of the pallets to get the best blend of color and texture. It's also available in a gray nickel color. There's a spacer bar built into the side of the unit so we don't have to worry about chipping as we set them in place. Now one thing we have to make sure that we do is that we sponge off what we've ground and the bottom of the unit so that we're adhering a clean surface to a clean surface. Now when it comes to adhesives, we have a couple of options. We could use a mortar, which is buildable. It is inflexible, it is strong, but it can cause efflorescence. So here we're gonna use a polyurethane-based adhesive, a FlexLock Ultra product. It's very fast, it's hydraulic, so it's gonna expand into the pores of the concrete as well as the units themselves. So we're ready to go.